Hey, welcome to the video. Today is a day after the video that you're about to see. My intro didn't even record. Uh, I was having problems with the uh, camera locking up and I didn't realize that I wasn't recording when I was trying to do the intro. So we'll do it today. So the, bi the bike ride that you're about to watch is my trip from home out to the airfield waterfalls at the, at the uh, local Joint Reserve Base. Uh, mostly gravel ride, which is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, so I decided to jump on the gravel bike after I replaced the stem and put a smaller stem on it. And ended up with almost 50 miles for the day. So it was a good ride for me for that day. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and here we go. Okay, so made it out of the uh, trail section now back on the road for a couple of miles and hopefully um, when I get to the REI area I think that's waterside uh, I can hit some gravel I'm in uncharted territory. I've never been on this trail before, but it's running a ride alongside the, the Trinity Trail. Actually, it's running right alongside the Trinity River. And it's a pretty good gravel trail through here. Um, I like it. So I thought the trail was completely open this way. It's not. And so I'm going to have to go up a little bit because I don't want to have to go. It's probably a couple of miles back to where I have to get back on the other side of the river. Um, it says that this is the detour. Unless you're planning on going swimming, that's not a detour. So I think I'm going to have to go back up get on the road didn't really want to do that but that's okay it's just maybe another maybe half a mile up toward the trail should link back in um, interesting that this part of the trail is closed it's not low enough to be underwater so there there's a bridge right on the edge and maybe the bridge is not in the best shape because it's on the edge with the rain that we got it may have it may have slid, you know had a little bit of a mudslide and therefore the bridge is not safe so i can't go here i think that's private property and there's no trespassing sign so i'm going to honor that one reason because there's cops in the parking lot and i don't want to get busted for that so uh, i'll go back up a little bit where i can get back on the road it shouldn't be too bad to to do a little bit of a detour got back onto the main trail to where i was earlier uh, so I think I'm okay now. We'll continue on. Soon the light will drive out the old ghost. Sometimes you gotta raise your voice for the broken ones who never had a choice. Sifting through the rubble, chipping at a broken wall. It won't all be okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm either overshot my destination or I'm nowhere near it. Time to get the cell phone out and check location because I'm not 100% sure where I'm at. Okay, so I don't know if you can see my dot. This thing zoom in, so that's where I'm at. I need to be over here where that Hawks Creek Country Club is. So I'm not quite at my destination. It can be beautiful. 
C9 display behind. Um, the C9 is also known as the Nightingale. <clears throat> uh, it was actually retired aircraft, but that's the fine hospital. Back in in 1968, I think until 2005, they were flying that. Um, so it definitely served a worthwhile pur purpose. Okay, so uh, time to go back to the house. I'm literally, if I go that way. I go that way I'm nine miles from home if I go back the way that I came I'm 24 miles from home one part of me says go nine miles but there's a lot of main traffic road that you'd have to ride on but I'm gonna go back to 24 miles uh, give me almost 50 for the day and that's a pretty good ride doing just kind of walking down there not a good not a good thought though okay quick check-in uh, I think I'm about probably about eight miles from the house and uh, stopped you know earlier and got me uh, a little bit of gummies in me it didn't help I'm running low on, on fuel as well as running low on liquid so this will be the last check-in until I get to the house, I'm gonna put the camera away uh, and just try to struggle the last eight miles to the house. And then once I get there, I'll check back in. Uh, wish me luck. I'm back at the house, cleaned up, actually had some dinner, kind of relaxed a little bit. That was one of the hardest rides I've done. I went back and looked through my Strava account. I think the last time I did a ride that long was back in August of 2019. I did a couple of 20 milers, but uh, nothing this long. So, good ride though. And I'm glad I, you decided to come along with me. What you've seen, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. As always, if you got any comments, please put them below. And we will catch y'all on the next adventure. We can make it better than